body camera video shows Lofton standing in front of the porch of the house there. Officers are seen talking to him, but are not able to convince him to go to the hospital. An hour goes by. Officers call for help as they struggle to take Lofton into custody. Video shows Lofton on the ground being placed into the wrap restraint system, binding his legs and feet. Officers can be heard talking about whether they should take him to Jayak or Ascension via Christie St. Joe for a mental health evaluation. Officers ultimately decided on Jayak. When WPD is able to leave the Jayak facility with Lofton now in his cell, he is seen acting oddly, according to a Jayak employee in District Attorney Mark Bennett's report. That report states at 4.20 a.m., the Jayak intake specialist opens Lofton's cell door to explain the intake process. Let's point out this moment right here when a Jayak employee reaches for Lofton's jacket on a nearby chair. Lofton reacts and approaches the employee. Just before 4.30 in the morning, Lofton is seen in the lobby with the Jayak intake specialist and a corrections officer. The employees are trying to keep Lofton from walking to the intake counter. He again tries to approach the counter. The employees begin to restrain Lofton. That's when video shows Lofton punch the intake specialist in the face, knocking his glasses to the floor. The employees then wrestle him down to the ground in a holding cell and more employees run to help. Video then shows Jayak personnel holding Lofton down in the prone position on his stomach while in the holding room, but the camera does not show a close angle of what was happening. The DA's report has Jayak employees say they heard Lofton refer to himself as Jesus and saying he was going to put a hex on the Jayak staff. After more than 30 minutes, it appears employees flip Lofton onto his back. At 5.08 a.m., according to the district attorney's report, Lofton was handcuffed, and four minutes later, he was flipped to his back after employees felt for a pulse and could not find one. Employees begin chest compressions at 5.13 a.m., and a JIAC supervisor calls 911. Another employee went to look for a defibrillator, but the facility did not have one. It took seven minutes for EMS to enter Jayak. They removed the handcuffs and moved Lofton to the lobby to try and get a heartbeat. At 537, they were able to get Lofton a pulse, and 16 minutes later, EMS has Lofton en route to Wesley Medical.